kuna sababu ambayo bungoma generally registration yetu ya ODM imeenda chini hizi issues ambayo hawa ndugu zangu wamesema we have interacted with these issues for a very long time from the time i started my politics i chose ODM when all these other political parties were available for me si ati tuli experience ubaya mahali tukakuja ODM hapana ni kama vile timu wanyonyi atawekea nyinyi lunch inaitwa buffet eh wa kuna samaki hapa iko kakuku hapa we mwenye unachagua ugali kama ni ya brown na ukule na kuku yako uende uketi when i started my politics all these political parties were there i made a conscious decision kama vile ndugu yetu amefanya leo nikasema mimi naingia kwa chama ya ODM na baba tumekuwa na shida sana hapa bungoma kwa sababu ukiangalia hiyo registration hata hii delegates hawa hawa watu wale tulianza nao wote hawako hapa kuna sura sioni si mnajua eh yeah. hey, baba nyesa boss we started with some people they are not here because baba bungoma has borne the brand of coalition politics na hiyo ndio ukweli wa mambo ilikuwa in fact i cannot remember i cannot remember kama kijana wenu mara ya mwisho mlika yako tu hivi ati watu ODM na baba i don't remember ilikuwa tumekaa hivi kwa mkutano tunasema ni delegates wa ODM watu wanaingia na uniform ya chama ingine wanakuja wanasukuma timu huko ati huu ni co principal awekee kiti hapo akae hapo si mnakumbuka hiyo maneno kulikuwa mkutano hapa tulifanya hapa kandui watu wakaingia na uniform ya chama ingine mimi niko na candidates wangu hapa wewe fikiria mheshimiwa wanjala candidate wangu watongareni amekaa alafu mwingine anaingia anasema sasa coalition nimesema huyu ndio ataenda tongareni hivyo ndo tumefinyilia chama cha ODM hapa Bungoma na ndio ukweli ndio maana baba wakati ulinichagua kama SG na ukaniambia hii NASA hii sivuna mimi nataka uvunje hii NASA nikaambia baba sasa ndio sasa ndio umeniambia sasa na akasema wewe tumia ile mbinu una eh e, zinaache cash nikasema kama mtu ya Bungoma vile hii watu walikuwa wanatufinyilia lazima tutaare tutaonyesha hii watu ya kwamba sisi pia tunahitaji kuwa na space yetu kama chama cha ODM I feel very uh, pained baba when I hear my own people wanaongea hivi kwa sababu we were trying so much to give support to our coalition partners hata huyu ndugu yangu kale kama si ati ni kijana pawa huko pia huko Tanzania alikuwa azame huyu kwa sababu ya coalition partners baba alikuwa na roho mzuri sana i remember baba and you allow me to just disclose some of these things usisikie vibaya <laughs> baba alinipatia list ya ile support ilikuwa inaenda kwa candidates na sijui hii rafiki zetu walijuaje bwana i don't know how they came to know baba wakasema a ah, a ah, a ah, odm candidates msiwapatie pesa kwa sababu tunataka chama yetu ile coalition partner wetu wakue na chance ya kuangusha food kenya hapa bungoma na mimi nasema ukweli na iliniuma sana kwa sababu baba aliwaonyesha watu wa dap heshima akasema basi wacha tuwapatie nafasi wao wafanye nini wa campaign kusema ukweli huyu mzee Lawrence ambaye tulikuja kuzika hapa juzi baba he was our candidate for senate in Bungoma on ODM baba yangu mwenyewe ikabidi sasa ati pesa mimi ndio SG lakini siwezi padia baba yangu pesa ya chama ya campaign ilibidi nilimega tu ile kidogo ulinipatia nikamrushia huku nyuma ile usiro sikila baba omwe ni mwenye jingla nicho nya eh lakini ilikuwa kwa heshima ya coalition so what these delegates want baba it is not bad to be in coalitions vile wamesema but we must empower our own party yes. we must empower our own party <laughs> jacom when we used to get money for the political parties fund you know when i spoke yesterday in uh, viga the fact of the matter is that immediately william ruto was sworn in he has embarked on dismembering and crippling all institutions of democracy in this country and political parties have not been left behind What he did we had 1.4 billion shillings allocated to the fund in the last financial year. Tukienda kwa uchaguzi bunge ilikuwa imepeana hiyo pesa tayari. Alifanya supplementary budget September 2 months ama 1 month baada ya kuapishwa. Akakuja akatoa 800 million kutoka kwa 1.4 ikabaki 600. Ati ndio vyama vyote vigawane hiyo pesa. Unaniambia ODM tulikuwa tupate 307 million shillings per year. Sai registrar ananiandikia anasema we will only receive 120 million shillings. It is a shame. Na hata wakisema hiyo ndio pesa yetu kutuma hawatumi. Mimi najiuliza hii ushuru yote ambayo tunalipa Ruto anafanyia nini hii pesa? Kwa sababu wabunge watakwambia CDF hawapati. 
wazazi kwa shule wanasema na walimu wanasema capitation ya shule hakuna sisi political parties hakuna pesa mama county wa Busia atakwambia ngaf haijakuja pesa ya wananchi ruto kwa sababu ushuru tukiangalia pesa lipi zetu ulikata hata december januari umekata hii pesa inaenda wapi inaenda wapi kwa hivyo mimi najua wakati tulikuwa tunapata pesa baba alikubali ya kwamba extra and special attention must be paid to Transoya and Bungoma na chairman na executive committee wako hapa kusema ukweli pesa baba alinipatia nikawaletea tukafungua ofisi mkaandika budget mkasema mnataka furniture ya ofisi tukafanya nini tukaleta si tulileta pesa wakati tulikuwa na pesa baba alikuwa amepeana hiyo order kwamba kuwe na special attention kwa kaunti ya Bungoma kujenga pati yetu but i can tell you bana befwe even as we speak today these meetings are being financed solely by mzee himself and members of parliament like team wanyonyi giving support that you see it we don't have any money at the party because the intention of this regime is to make sure ya kwamba tume kwama nyinyi watu wa ODM hao watu baba me have never seen watu dedicated kama hao hao wa mama hao awe na pesa ama hana kama kitu ya chama inatakiwa ifanyike itafanyika so hawa jamaa huo wanakaa wanajiuliza na hao watu wa ODM tukiwapea hii pesa naye watakana namna gani maandamano itafanana aje tukikuwa na pesa kama tunafanyanga <laughs> tunafanyanga ile ya moyo Hey, ya kujitolea tu ya kujituma na je sasa tukisema sasa tumeingiza pesa kwa chama si hii watu tutatoa within a week watakuwa wameenda nyumbani na ndio kwa maana wamekatalia pesa yetu and as an SG we have spoken with all the other SGs of other political parties except UDA kwa sababu UDA wamepata njia ya kujifanda huku nyuma malala anafungua maofisi anatumia pesa gani kama political parties pan ijatolewa wao wanajipea pesa nyuma ya ya tent alafu wana, wanafinya hivi vya mavingine next week we will be issuing a statement as the rest of the 48 qualifying political parties ya kwamba what is going on is unacceptable na hatuwezi kuendelea hivi wacha nikuupe eh, takwimu baba za registration za constituency za hapa Bungoma na utaniruhusu unajua baba aliniambia <laughs> tukienda hizi kaunti zingine number 1 number 2 na number 3 ndio wanapata zawadi lakini hapa kwa sababu niko nyumbani mi naomba baba hata namba msiembe akule kitu ya SG. <laughs> eh. Ono mwana wenyewe ke kale kumbe andu wazi muli ako jichazi. Eh. 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 Mulo mwenge muli nende SG. Eh sasa baba nitafanya tu eh a, 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 netwa nini? Adjustment kidogo. Watu ya siaya msiniulize hivi vitu hivi ya nyumbani. <laughs> so hata ule namba msiembe leo nimesema nitapatia nyinyi kitu kidogo hata kama ni mafuta ya kufanana nini kusupport nyinyi muweze kuinuka kama chama. Sasa baba Bungoma on the IBC register as the last uh, registration 646,000 registered voters in Bungoma. We have only managed to register 203 as members of ODM which represents 31% which is very very low na ndio kwa maana tuko namba 11 kwa the entire country na kwa hizi constituencies zetu tisa nataka kusoma kuanzia namba msiembe paka namba 1 namba 1 2 3 watakula kitu tofauti na namba msiembe lakini kila mtu atafanya nini eh hey. si jiti zilio orali yako siase lakini i want you to pull up your socks si ndio namba 9 rafiki yangu solo huyo kijana anaitwa solo huyo baba huyo uh, mtu ako dedicated sana na najua kwa sababu zile shida ako nazo kule Mount Elgon na support ndio kwa maana uko namba msiembe solo <laughs> out of the 76000 registered voters in Mount uh, Elgon constituency we have only managed 8000 registered vote, uh, members of ODM sasa tunataka tukuongezee nguvu ili uweze kusongesha hizi nambari at least ifike about 25% of the registered voters and i will support you in that kwa sababu ya wewe ni kuwa rafiki yangu na mtoto ya nyumbani watu wa Mount Elgon tapatia hao 5000 shillings kutoka kwa mfuko yangu pigia hao makofi Tongaren ndio namba 8 Tongaren wako wapi eh yeah. namba 8 chairman wewe tumetembea na wewe muda mrefu na najua how dedicated you are to the party Out of the 84,000 registered voters in Tongaren, we only have 26,000 members of ODM which represents 31% of all the voters. Hata wewe chairman, nitakupiga tao 5 pia wewe ukule hiyo 
uongeze bidii weke airtime ya kupigia watu wajiunge na chama si ndio number 7 bumula constituency wako wapi eh hey, muziki na uoga simama tu <laughs> simama nimesema kila mtu tunamina kitu eh hey, bumula out of the 82000 registered voters you have only registered 25000 members as members of the party we want you to ongeza moto kidogo and we are here to support you number 6 baba is kimilili constituency Number six, Kimilili constituency, out of 61,000, you have registered 19,000. Pia wewe nitakupatia airtime ya shilingi elfu tano ya kufanya kazi ya chama. Sirisia, number five. Sirisia wako wapi? Asante sana, Sirisia. Muko na 48,000 registered voters, mumeandikisha wana ODM elfu kuminatano. Mujipigie makofi na muapigie makofi. Number four, Webuye West. 58,000 registered voters We have registered 19,000 Nyinyi pia mutaminu wa kitu Shilingi elfu tano Sasa tunaingia number one, two na three Sindio? Hawa ni wale wamejikakamua kabisa <laughs> Number three Kabuchai Pigia wa makofi Baba Kabuchai Kabuchai out of the 67,000 registered voters Tuko na members wa ODM elfu ishirina mbili Nyinyi nitawamina shilingi elfu kumi Kwa hiyo kazi mbae umefanya Aya Number two Kandui <laughs> Angalia wanaanza Wanataka sava ifunguliwe Kandui Rafael Simama Simama Rafael